Hey what's up guys, today we show you the best option for tracking your heartbeat rate using the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus with a Polar H10 Bluetooth technology. If you are using one smartwatch with heart rate monitor, probably it is and with optic technology. The problem is when you start your training session, you start sweating and the sweat makes the optic sensor generate the wrong value. The good news is the Garmin Phoenix 5 is compatible with all the technology and we can use it also with the Polar H10 with Bluetooth technology. The stripe in the chest gives you better reading values. The stripe has two electrodes and the motion gives you low impedance and in the end you have better conductivity and accurate values. If it's the first time that you want to use the H10, then you need to synchronize the Phoenix 5 Plus with the Polar H10. To do that, just go to the setting menu and then go for sensors and accessories and you need to add a new device. But in my case, I have it and then just load to see the status. Just for demonstration, I will just place my hands in the electrodes and see if they can recognize my heartbeat. I never did that before with just for this video. And yeah, looks like it is working. But I don't think it is reading the right way because I am using the hand. There is no calibrate, they are not made for the hand. But I will place in the chest and you will see the difference. The Polar Beat application also has uh, several features. You can store all of your training session there. Uh, you can save it, you can watch it later in the web application and you can export your heart rate values and give you different kind of measuring of your training and your progress that you are increasing. But the Phoenix also have a, another application that they call Connect and you will see all of your training and you can link it also with another machines or just free, just broadcasting the value of your heart rate monitor in the gym link it's kind of connectivity with a trading machine that you don't need to pair it and the machine will uh, discover it go to the application and heart rate sensor because there are some different devices this is the polar h10 and in the option menu you have the possibility to send to or receiving the bluetooth to two devices well now i am using the stripe with the polar h10 in my chest <laughs> for better explanation and when you are using it just to place and, and look for the status try to make the connection and eventually will connect it and you decide if you wanna save in your training session of course you decide if you wanna save the your heartbeat in both application in your polar application in your phone or just in the Garmin Connect and now the heartbeat that you are watching is just directly from my chest and then let's open the application in the polar and you will see the same exact number of the heartbeat. Now the values make sense is 66, 67 uh, BPMs because I am sitting, I am not walking then the heartbeat is completely the same for both of them and is very accurate. I create the R code to compare these two kind of technologies. The H10 that is the sensor place in your heart with a stripe and the optic technology used in your wrist with a Phoenix 5 Plus. And first you need to download these two kind of files from the Polar H10 and for the Garmin Phoenix 5. For downloading the file from the H10 is very simple just go to your Polar account and download the file of your session. In the second case, the Garmin file is a little complicated because when you download it, it's in different format, it's a FIT, and you need to translate this one to the CVS, the common separation value. However, I did a video for how you translate this format FIT to the CVS in a previous video. I will leave the link in the video description. And then when you have ready this two kind of file, it's just to run my code and you will see the same plot for both of them. When I take a look into the files, I notice that Polar H10 has a constant sampling rate. The H10 stores the BPM value second by second. However, the Garmin Phoenix 5 stores the BPM values at variable sampling rate. Sometimes it takes uh, 8 seconds to store just one value. The difference in the sampling rate 
uh, will result in different size of the table. Uh, then we in the Polar H10 we have uh, 3700 BPM values and in the Phoenix and uh, we have uh, 1900 BPM values. Then to make better comparison I remove its uh, BPM value from the Polar table. In the end I am plotting just 1961 BPM values for 55 minutes of training. And now let's take a look to the graph. The training session was close to 60 minutes. The red line corresponds to the Polar H10 and the green one corresponds to the Phoenix 5 Plus. And we can see in the beginning of my training session uh, there is a big difference close to uh, 50 BPM bit per minute. And in that case I just start to my working out and I see exactly the red one is very close that exactly the BPM that I'm feeling. When I start moving, my heart rate starts increasing and when I stop or I change in my series and the heart rate uh, start decreasing. However, in the Garmin Phoenix 5, there are just creepy data getting in my watch. I don't know why it's so big difference at the first 18 minutes, but, but later the Phoenix uh, 5 Plus start to give me better results. Remember, for that training, I was using the optic sensor in the Phoenix 5 Plus, and the red one is the, the, the sensor placed in my chest with a stripe. In the middle of the session, uh, we never saw that they are work together, but I feel very clear every variation uh, using the Polar H10. Just in the last 10 minutes, I saw that both of them are very close, and in that moment, I remember very clear that I was lying in the floor, just stretching me, and just only this period of 10 minutes just gave me a better result. Both of them are very close. I am not sure why the Garmin Phoenix 5 is working that way, but I think all of the optic sensor uh, placed in your wrist it works the same way well after this result if you are interested in follow your bpm with a very precisely i highly recommend to you use the polar h10 together with your phone or your garmin devices that is completely compatible if you are running and if you are using the garmin uh, you will save just your heartbeat uh, values from the Polar H10 together with your with your data information of the GPS and elevation, temperature, everything with the Garmin Phoenix 5 or any series of Garmin. If you are interested in this kind of plot, I create this tutorial in the GitHub repository. I place these two files, the Polar H10 and the Garmin Phoenix 5 there and then you can run my code and yet yeah, you will replicate exactly the same graph that you are watching here. I will place a link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question about the R code or Python, just let me know. And see you the next time. Bye bye.